So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information in educational video here I am going to inform you about the bedside addition 2 as you also know tomorrow they are going to announce the result and most probably you will get around 8 pm 7 to 8 pm you will get the result once it will be out I will surely inform you but let me inform you if you have done the payment in first iteration whether you have uh, been in admitted list or uh, waiting list uh, then you don't need to pay any money again if you will get the seat for the first time that is in second iteration then you will have to pay the fee by deducting your uh, wait listed fee so hope you get my point clearly now the important thing is that how how many marks you can expect the decrement so I will tell you most probably zero marks in most of the branch because no one is going to leave this uh, bedside college uh, uh, in first iteration itself in upcoming iteration you can expect some uh, changes will be there because the uh, most of the student uh, have got other college as well so some of them will leave the lower branch so if you are thinking that there will be a big decrement in the marks then they, they, this is total totally wrong assumption because in last year also in previous six year i am doing the counseling so there will be very less change in marks in second edition there may be one to two marks or three marks you can expect in some branches but most of the branch will have zero change so if you will not get any seat or if you will be into the wait listed again don't worry and don't be surprised about that because there will be no change literally in the cutoff but after the second iteration in third iteration some changes you can expect because of the withdrawal there will be option available up to 17 to 18 there is a withdrawal option available so if you have got the seat in first iteration or if you will get in second iteration you will have the chance to withdraw and take your money back and uh, that will have the effect and uh, you will get the third iteration on 20, uh, on 20th and thereafter in the fourth iteration you will have big change in the cutoff because of the physical reporting of the strength as I am repeating this statement again and again just uh, to advise you and suggest you that keep patience otherwise you will lose hope and you will be out of the counseling process and you will regret later so try to do the counseling for the last by better process all the information you should have in your mind and every time try to compare all the college whatever you have in your hand and if you need any type of guidance and consultation regarding that how to uh, go forward and whether to go with bits or uh, that is wait for bits up to last or go with manipal or vat comet k triple esrm or josa seat jack Daly seat mst seat so whatever uh, is your situation i will be discussing each and everything if you want you can register with my guidance there is a very very nominal chart for that in the description you will be able to check the detail of my guidance so once the result will be out tomorrow i will surely inform you once the uh, allotment will be out and whatever will be the changes in cutoff i will try to inform you at the same time so please try to subscribe the channel thank you